quiz 2 part 2 tayo sa ating basic algebra review. So, uulitin ko doon sa sinabi natin sa part 1 nitong uh, quiz na to na kung hindi mo pa na-take ang quiz, puntahan mo lang muna yung link na pre-provide sa video dito sa baba sa description ng video na to. I-take mo muna yung quiz pero hindi yung required na para masaya. <laughs> Kung mag-take ka ng quiz, tapos after mo i-take ang quiz, pwede mo nang panoorin ang mga solutions dito. Ayos lang. Unang problem, uh, we have this, the following three terms are in geometric progression. Uh, we have x, 2x plus 7, 10x minus 7. What is the sixth term? So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, class, no, puhunan lang natin ay masolve natin yung x kapag makuha natin yung value ng x, tapos ang kaso, baby. Now, kapag geometric progression tayo, Itong second term, kasi itong first, second, third term tayo. Itong second term, kung i-square mo to, ang square actually nito ay katumbas sa product ng x at saka sa 10x minus 7. So kung i-generalize natin ang description na yan, kung meron tayong uh, geometric progression na a, b, c, ito yung ating geometric progression, okay? ang quantity natin b squared, itong b squared natin, is equal to the product of AC. So, bakit ganon? So, para malaman natin bakit ganon, balikan natin yung ating principle sa geometric progression. Ang geometric progression ay merong common ratio. Kung naalala nyo yan? So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang quotient, itong quotient na B over A, ito yung tinatawag na common ratio sa geometric progression, equal to C over B. Ito yung R. So, kung kukunin mo to na value dito, itong portion dito, okay? Ito yung B squared is equal to AC. Yun yung ginawa natin. That's why nakuha natin dito, we have this 2x plus 7, okay? 2x plus 7 uh, is squared, tapos divided by, uh, is equal to x times 10x plus 7. Yun yung nangyari sa ating equation, okay? Ang 2x plus 7 raised to 2, Ano? Uh, is equal to the product of x at saka 10x minus 7. So para ma-solve natin yung x, kasi yun yung ating puhunan, ang gagawin natin ay i-square natin to, I-expand natin to. We have this 4x squared, 2 times 2 times 7, magiging 28x. Tapos we have this 7 squared, is 49. Ito, ipasok natin tong x sa loob, magiging 10x squared. Ito ay minus 7x. Combine natin 10x squared minus 4x squared is 6x squared. We have this negative 28. Kung i-transpose na natin, negative 28 minus 7 is negative 35 of x. Kasi itong negative 49. Solve for x by any means. Uh, I suggest na sa calculator mo gagawin. We have this x is equal to 7 and negative 7 over 6. Now, alin dito yung gagamitin natin? So, kailangan natin isa-isahin to. Kung anong nasa choices, yun yung, gagami uh, yun yung ating sagot. Okay? Unahin, excuse me. Unahin natin yung x is equal to 7. So, for x is equal to 7, ang ating geometric progression ngayon ay 7. 2 times 7 plus 7 is 21. Tapos 63 naman dito. 10 times 7 minus 7, 63. Ito yung ating geometric progression. So, may common ratio tayo na, kung isulat natin yung common ratio, second term divided by the first term is equal to obvious 3. Or pariho lang class, 63 divided by 21. It is also equal to 3. Dahil pang-anim lang ang hinanap natin. Pwede natin to i-diritso na lang na. Huwag na natin gamitan ng formula. Malapit lang eh. 63 times 3. Yun yung pagkuha sa pangalawang term. Kung gusto mo makuha ang D, mag-multiply ka ng R sa A. Kung gusto mo makuha ang value ng C, mag-multiply ka ng R sa B. Yun yung geometric progression. So, 63 times 3, makuha mo yung fourth term. 189. 189 times 3, makuha mo yung fifth term. 567. 567 times 3, makuha na natin yung 6th term. And that is 1,701. And nasa choices siya. So, siya yung sagot natin. Okay? Now, kung malayo na yung hinahanap natin, no, sabi natin pang 15th term na, from pang 21st term na class, inconvenient na to gagawin na times 3, times 3, times 3 ka palagi. Makuha mo pa rin, pero matagal gawin. That's why kailangan natin ang formula. At ito, ito yung formula sa n term ng geometric progression. So, madali lang. N term is equal to the first term times R is to N minus 1. Na-identify na actually natin to. The first term is 7. Ito yan, value, 7. The R is 3. Galing dito. 
So, hinanap natin 6 terms. So, is equal to the first term 7. 3, the R is 3, Risto. 6 minus 1. So, makuha natin yung 6 term. Pariho pa rin yung value dito, 1,701. Now, what if kung ang gamitin mo na x ay negative 7 over 6? Ano yung magiging 6 term ngayon? Now, isulat natin yung ating geometric progression. We have this. The first term is negative 7 over 6. 2 times negative 7 over 6 plus 7 magiging positive 14 over 3. Uh, 10 times negative 7 plus 7 magiging negative 56 over 3. Kung isulat natin ang common ratio, 14 over 3 divided by negative 7 over 6, ang common ratio actually ng ating geometric progression ngayon ay negative 4. Yan yung common ratio natin. I-check mo yan, negative 56 over 3 divided by positive 14 over 3, that is also negative 4. Now, dahil 6 term lang hinanap, pwede mo i-multiply mo to ng negative 4, makuha mo yung 4 term. Okay? Positive 2, 2, 4 over 3. Itong 4 term, i-multiply mo ng negative 4, the common ratio, uh, kuha ka ng 800, negative 896 over 3. Ito yung inyong 5th term. Itong 5th term, i-multiply mo ulit ng negative 4, magiging positive 300, uh, 3,584 over 3. Ito yung 6th term. Ito yung isa sa posibleng sagot. Natural, wala, sa, wala siya sa choices kasi isa lang dapat ang nasa choices natin. Isa lang pipiliin dyan. Okay? Sunod na problem. Sheruka Ashurika Washburn has a score 72, 67, 82, and 79 on her algebra tests. Use an inequality to find the scores she must take on the final exam to pass the course with an average of 77 or higher given that the final exam counts as two tests. Okay? So, kukunin daw natin yung kanyang bagong average class dapat 77 or higher. Okay? So, ano daw dapat yung kanyang score sa kanyang final exam? Tapos, yung kanyang final exam counted as two. Dalawang exams yan. Dito naman, meron siyang mga previous na scores galing sa previous na mga exam. 72, 67, 82. Plus, yung bagong final, bagong, uh, yung parating na final exam. Kukunin natin yung average. So, 70, 72 plus 67 plus 82 plus 79. Tapos yung kanyang score sa final exam, tawagin natin na X. Yung X na yun, counted as 2 daw. Dalawang exam. So, 2X tayo. Plus 2X. So, meron tayong a total bilang ng mga exams or number of exams. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. Counted as 2 to. Anim to class. Lima, anim. So, dalawa dahil dalawa to, meron tayong a total of anim. Ang average nito class, divide 6. At dapat, isatisfy natin to greater than or equal to 77 that is 77 or higher solve for x cross multiply 77 times 6 minus 72 minus 67 minus 82 minus 79 ang answer nun lahat i-divide mo nang to makuha mo yung value ng x must be greater than or equal to 81 the answer is letter b ayos sunod na problem indirect mail incorporated had been mailing out Coupons for a clearance sale at a constant rate of 4 days. For 4 days. When they counted the coupons, they still had mail out and discovered they had 120,000 left. After 7 total days uh, of work, they had 75,000 left. At what rate are they mailing coupons out? So, ano, sa anong rate daw, uh, inilabas nila yung mga coupons. So, kung makita mo sa mga choices now, we are... Uh, we are asked to find the number of coupons per day kasi yun nandito yun sa kan eh, sa choices number of coupons per day na kanilang mini mail araw-araw constant uh, na bing lang yun constant number of coupon ang kanilang inilabas araw-araw so ibig sabihin class nababawasan sila ng constant uh, na eh, itong rate na to ang ibig sabihin ko itong rate na to class binabawasan sila ng constant na value constant na bing lang so, kapag mag-isip ka ng, isipin mo yung progression na discuss natin. Ano yung uri ng progression na may constant na bilang ang pag-change? Constant na bilang ang pag-change. Rate kasi ang ginamit dito na term. Natural na maisip agad natin yung arithmetic progression. Merong common difference. Mag-change siya at a constant value. Ha? So, ibig sabihin, ang problem na to ay isang uri ng arithmetic progression. Okay? Ang inilabas nila ay constant na bilang. Okay? Constant na bilang. Kop, 
number of coupons per day, number of coupons per day, number of coupons per day. Constant na bilang to. Itong rate na pinagsasabi dito. So kung gamitan natin to class ng arithmetic progression, nakuha na natin arithmetic progression to at kumbinsido na tayo class nakita na talaga natin. Uh, fortunately, nandito din sa choices na. No? Kumbinsido talaga tayo niyan. Kasi nandito sa choices. Gamitan natin ng formula. So ang ating AN is equal to AM. That is the term after the first but before the last kasi yun yung na, may data tayo. Is equal to A plus N minus M times the common difference. Ang hinanap dito, ito yon Itong common difference, ano yung paglabas araw-araw? Kasi after the fourth day, nang magtrabaho sila, after the fourth day, ang natira nila class 120,000. Tapos, ang tanong dito, ilan yung matira after... Uh, uh, ilan yung inilabas, no? Kung after 7 days nila na paglabas ng coupons ay meron silang natirang 75,000. So, ito ay 4th day. As, uh, pala, 7th day pala to. Ito ay 4th day. So, ang hinanap natin ay D. Ito ay 4th day. So, A sub 4. Ilan yung natira after... Uh, ito ay 7 days. Ilan yung natira after 7 days? So, A sub N, A sub 7. Itong A sub M ay A sub 4. Okay? Plus N minus 4. That is 7 minus 4. The required is D. May value tayo nito. After 7 days, ang natira nila, 75,000. May value tayo nito, class. After 4 days, sila nag-send ng mga coupons. Ang natira nila, 120,000. Okay? 7 minus 4 is 3 times D. Solve for D. Makuha mo yan, class. Negative 15,000. Ang ibig sabihin ng negative 15,000 na to, no? ang kanilang hawak na coupons class ay pakunti ng pakunti. Nababawasan sila palagi ng tig 15,000 araw-araw. Itong tig 15,000 araw-araw, ito yung sinesend nila per day. Kanya? At yun yung sagot sa ating problem. Nagsisend sila ng coupons na 15,000 na bilang na piraso araw-araw. Ayos? And that is the answer for this problem. Sunod na tanong. Consider the arithmetic sequence whose first term is 3 and common difference is negative 5. Write an expression for the general term AN. Hinanap class yung general term AN. At fortunately, meron pa tayong hint dito class. Hindi tayo, talaga tayo maligaw nito. Ang AN daw ay equal to the first term plus N minus 1 times the common difference. So ang importante lang natin dito no, ay ma masulat natin class. Alam natin ang mga mga tawag dito, elements sa ating formula. So, kung mapansin mo sa ating previous na formula, no, ang ating ginawa dito ay a n is equal to a sub m plus n minus m times d. Itong m na to ay the term after the first but before the last. Okay? Itong a m. Now, ang pwede natin gawing m is equal to the first term. So, a 1 tayo. Yun yung formula natin dito. a sub 1. Okay? A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Kanina kasi, A sub M. Dito, minus M. Aha? So, mas general yung formula kanina. Kasi hindi lang hindi lang yun nakatutok lang sa first term. Kahit wala kang first term, pwede mo magamit ang formula. Ayos? So, ang A N natin ay equal to the first term, given actually, 3 uh, plus N minus 1. That is, uh, N minus 1 times the common difference, negative 5. So, kung isolve na natin to class, Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5 plus 3. Ang ating AN ay magiging equal to 8 plus N times negative 5. So magiging plus negative 5N. So minus 5N tayo and this is the answer. Letter D. Okay? At dito natin taposin yung ating quiz 2 part 2. Salamat sa payikinig. Stop recording.